Hey, Amelia, what are we doing today? Today, we're recording another episode of our series Confidence Interval, which is where we make the case for a hot take and then tell you how confident we are in that take. Okay, what's your take? My take is that marijuana will not be legal throughout the country and at the federal level by the end of Biden's current term. And that might seem like a little bit of a weird take because this has been an incredibly successful decade for people who want to see marijuana legalized. Just remember that less than 10 years ago, marijuana wasn't legal for recreational use anywhere in the country. It's now legal in 15 states for recreational use, and it's legal in an additional 20 states for medical use. So that's a huge sea change, and along with it, legalizing marijuana has become incredibly popular. So we've seen support for legalizing marijuana rise over the past decade. The vast majority of Democrats and independents support it at this point. And depending on the poll, you see around 50% support for legalizing marijuana, even among Republicans. So that's a huge shift from where we were even 10 years ago. Add to that the fact that we now have a Democrat in the White House, we have a Democratic-controlled Congress, and marijuana reform is something that Democrats say they want to prioritize. In fact, House Democrats passed a very large bill last year decriminalizing marijuana. Of course, that bill didn't become law, but that might signal that this is something that Democrats are ready to tackle now. So, why do I think this doesn't translate into legalization? Well, the first thing is that decriminalization and legalization are not the same thing. One of the big problems for federal reformers right now is that marijuana is legal at the state level, but you can still be prosecuted at the federal level and go to federal prison for possessing and selling marijuana. So that's a big problem for people who are trying to, for example, run marijuana businesses in the states. You sort of have that legal liability looming over your head all the time. Congress could get rid of that legal liability and either significantly reduce the penalties for marijuana or get rid of them entirely, but that's not the same thing as marijuana then becoming legal everywhere across the country or the federal government regulating marijuana the way we do with alcohol and tobacco. Then you have to remember that just because around half of Republicans are in support of legal marijuana, that doesn't mean that Republicans in Congress are going to be on board. Okay, how confident are you? I would bet 20 bucks on this. And that's because even though, of course, it's possible the political winds will shift at some point in the next four years, it's just one priority among many for Democrats right now. And because marijuana reform is complicated and it might be hard to get Republicans on board, I suspect that Democrats are going to have more success passing piecemeal marijuana reform bills, like something that would make it easier for marijuana businesses to access banking services, which they currently can't do in many places right now. So while I think it's totally possible we will see more states legalize marijuana, either for recreational or medical use, and we could see some smaller bills trying to deal with different federal marijuana reform issues pass in Congress, I just don't think this is a slam dunk issue with Republicans by any means, and that Democrats are coming in with a huge range of issues they want to address, including a global pandemic and the economic crisis stemming from that pandemic. I just don't see a big marijuana reform bill necessarily being a top priority in the next few years, much less passing in Congress.